Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. So today is Wednesday, April 14th, and I'm actually starting this vlog at the end of the day. <laughs> it's a Wednesday, so it's early release. It's about 1.15 right now in the afternoon, and my kids have all gone home for the day, and I'm getting ready to spend the next few hours prepping, going to a few meetings, and I thought that I would just start my vlog this afternoon since I have all the time in the world. So um, I'm gonna do first an outfit of the day because I know you guys love those. Um, and then I'm gonna show you guys this really super cool new desk that I just got that I know you guys are gonna love. Okay, so the outfit today is coming to you from Old Navy. So this t-shirt is an Old Navy t-shirt and I just rolled it up and it's over top of a dress. So the dress is like a tank top dress and I just rolled it up right over the top of it. So it just kind of has like the flowy skirt effect. This is kind of like my favorite go-to outfit. And then my glasses are from Glasses USA and I will have those linked down below. I think these glasses are really funny. They remind me of Johnny Depp. I call them my Johnny Depp glasses <laughs> and I always get lots of compliments on them. They come with this really cool like sunglasses thing that like pops right on the front of your glasses. Um, but anyway, these are one of my favorites from Glasses USA. They're like super nerdy and they make me feel like a super smart scientist so I like wearing these ones um and then my shoes these are these like excuse the mess <laughs> these are these I forget what they're called but they're like made out of yoga mat material I don't know but they're comfortable so anyways I wanted to show you guys this super cool standing and rising desk that I have been obsessed with the last few weeks since coming back from spring break Okay, so this is the desk, and I love that it has wheels on it. So this is the Apex desk, and it is really super cool because not only does it rise and fall, but it also has wheels on it. So this has come in handy a lot with the whole moving around the room um, I like to kind of change where I stand and where I teach from. So I like it because I can roll it around with me. I can roll it out of the way. And then I can have students working here in this area. I can kind of take up space in this area. I can roll it across to the other side. This would be a great desk for you if you're teaching hybrid students because I know a lot of you don't like leaving your students just in one spot while you go attend to your in-class students. So this would be a great tool for you if you're teaching hybrid. You could bring your online students around the room with you while you go to in-person students. So anyway, I love the wheels. It does have a locking mechanism. So you just kick the lock down and then it does lock the wheels so it's a lot harder to roll. And then, sorry, mine's a little dirty. We had some fun with mud making tsunamis. And then it's really cool because it does have a tablet slot right here. So you could just plop your tablet in there. And then it also goes up and down. So it rises. So it can be super tall. And then it also comes down to about there so a student could use it. So I'm gonna stand next to it so I can show you guys the perspective. This is a desk at full, um, when it is completely down and here's a desk at completely up. So I will leave a link to this Apex Rising Desk down in the description if you guys are interested in checking it out. Okay, so today was kind of a weird day for us. We're right in the middle of AZ Merit testing. Today's Wednesday, it's early release, so we don't rotate students, but I am behind on teaching some of my lessons for our water festival that's coming up in the next couple of weeks. It is virtual, unfortunately, but there are a few lessons that are supposed to be taught before they come, and then a couple of lessons that happen after. One of the lessons was this really cool simulation that simulates water molecules and shows students how heat and heat energy changes the state of matter that liquid water, gas, water, and solid water go through. 
And so I am going to put the link to the website in the description of this video. But basically what the kids were able to do, let me get my copy. Okay, so what the kids are able to do with this website, by the way, this is too long of a website for me to just say out loud. So I'm gonna just put it in the description below. But if you teach water or anything related to water or anything with states of matter, you can definitely use this website. So you click on states and then the kids choose water as their molecule. And then you can see here the water molecules are in the jar. You wanna change it to Celsius, which that's closest to Fahrenheit. And then essentially what the kids do is they choose a state of water to begin with. Um, let's say we start with a gas and then they're able to see how the molecules are moving in relation to the temperature. So I explained to the kids, the higher the Celsius degree, the hotter it is. Uh, 100 degrees is when water can become a gas. 100 degrees Celsius is when a water can become a gas. So it's at 156 degrees centimeter, uh, Celsius right now, and which is why it is in a gas state. So we make observations. What are the molecules doing? How are they moving? How are they behaving? The kids can see that they are moving pretty quickly. Um, they are very spread apart. And then what we do is we can change the temperature and watch as the molecules begin to behave differently. So if we cool them down, you'll notice that the molecules are coming closer together. They're not moving quite as much. They're all sinking to the bottom. And then eventually as it gets colder and colder and colder, they will eventually freeze and stop moving. So kids are able to see how when water is chilled, it becomes a solid. So as you can see, the molecules have stopped moving and then they can pause, they were writing observations, and then they can basically change all of their states of water and see how things change them. So if we go to solid, we start as a solid. It's pretty cold right now. They are shaking, but they're not really moving that much and they're very close together. And if we apply heat, we're going to melt them into a liquid. Okay, so now they're extremely close together. They are moving, but they're moving a lot slower than they would if they were above 156 degrees Celsius. Now they're becoming a gas. So it's just a really cool simulation website. Like I said, I will link it down below if you're interested in doing it with your kids. Um, there is some need for written directions. So if you can see, my students had access to this written direction. It's from Arizona Project WET. If you guys are interested in this, you can look up Arizona Project WET and you might be able to get access to this, but this is something that our district gave to us. It is through the Arizona Water Festival, so I can't send these to you. But what I can do is tell you that it is very helpful to type out the instructions for your students if you're gonna use this, tell them what to choose, and then they were able to go through and answer some questions along the way. So if you're interested in this, I would suggest going to Arizona Project Wet or the Arizona Wet uh, Water Festival to get information on that um, if it's something that you are interested in. So I do have another lesson. So it was very strange today. We didn't rotate students, so we decided to do a full-blown hour-long Google Meet where I taught all of the fourth graders, but they were in their own homerooms. And so I did teach today on Google Meet, but I got to teach all of the fourth graders. And what's cool was that their homeroom teachers, so my ELA teacher Maria, and then Rob, my math teacher, they were in there to help lead discussions, listen to discussions, make sure the kids were on task, make sure that they were on what they're supposed to be on. And so it was actually really nice um, to be able to do that. So, but very weird. So tomorrow we are taking the second ELA AZ Merit test and the second math AZ Merit test. And then when we're all finished, we're gonna do another Google Meet lesson just so that I can at least get 30 to 40 minutes with them. Um, the Water Festival is next Tuesday and I have five lessons I'm supposed to teach before then. Some of them will go together, but there's some modules that the kids need to go through before they do their um, Water Festival 
thing. So I wanted to have time. And so my teammates are amazing and they're giving me that time. So I really appreciate them for that. Um, but it's at this point in the day where I'm going to start um, doing some planning and grading. I need to grade these and then start finishing up plans for those water lessons that I'm going to be doing the rest of this week and then Monday as well. So I'm going to collect all of these pages and start grading them and going through them. And then I will have a PLC meeting at three and then it's to the gym for this girl. I don't know what we're doing today, maybe legs. Um, but I will try to show you guys some of the workout. Hey you guys, so I definitely forgot to film our workout, but today was back um, and shoulder day. So we started out with some front raises and lateral raises, and then we moved to the lat pull down machine. After that we did, um, oh, and um, flies. And then after that, we went into one armed rows and double rows, but we did it with the rope where you pull it towards you. I should have filmed this, but I was in the zone. And then after that, we did basic shoulder press. Oh, and we did some Arnold presses, Arnold presses too. Um, so shoulders and back, um, super good workout. I did not take a pre-workout, but I did drink my Alani new um, energy drink kind of at like three o'clock. So it was kind of like trickling off of that um, but all in all great workout so it is 5 10 i'm gonna head on home I'm making some flourless shrimp tacos tonight with my jicama wraps which i can show you guys when i get home scott will have flour tortillas and then we're gonna just hang out the rest of the night so uh yeah i'll see you guys at home Final product, shrimp tacos on a jicama tortilla. Thank you, babe. Yeah. Look at that. I'm excited. Yummy. Let's taste. 